Hi, it's Sonia here and I'm going to try and put together a video showing, it's like stitching together bits of videos I did during the week because I've been working on some works on canvas and um, I guess I'm trying to talk about those a bit more. Um, I can't remember what I said in those videos, so it's going to be a bit of a, a strange stitch together video. I just wanted to show um, that also last night I've been working in this sketchbook and I, this is like a figurative art sketchbook where I've been like drawing people from references. Um, I'm trying to show another page to illustrate a lot of my kids, just sketching the kids. And this sketchbook, um, one I really like and it's probably one that I'll keep not alter because it's got sketches of my children and also it is informing I feel like it's actually leading to me wanting to work on canvas with figurative art as well so I'm just going to switch this camera around and then show you a bit more of a painting that I'm working on currently hey it's Sonia I thought I'd make a little video of something I'm working on um, so maybe this will be I'll add bits to it during the week uh, it'll be a studio vlog so I guess I'm trying to work on some canvases. I keep playing around with these, like this one here. I just keep painting it again and again, and I've got no idea where this is going to go. Um, and then there's this one over here. Okay, this is, I've been, I've had this one for ages. And yeah. I think it's gonna be like an abstract landscape that I'm kind of making up. Um, I feel like I should just be brave and get on with it, but I don't know where. I think I stopped because I liked areas of it and I didn't know where I was going. And to be fair, also we had construction work. I had to move out of my, I was using my son's bedroom as a studio really. So um, then I sort of stopped painting on canvas for a bit. But yeah, and then I've got, what else is going on? I've got over here is where I just put things. It's a mess, but like I'm just playing about with some, just seeing where these go. And there's a pile of work there as well. So yes, it's a little bit messy, but that's how I roll. But this is what I have been working on for about, oh my gosh, a good hour or two. Um, and basically it's a old abstract painting that I've had for a while and I decided I would, so it's super old this one and I don't know if you can see, I'm trying to find the area because I'm, but there's scribbles underneath, there's actually, I think I was in a bit of a interesting place, I don't know what I've written under there, like there's, there's um, there is type under the um, writing, I think in a uh, Sharpie or something. And I've covered it up. I must have been a bit angry. I guess I used it, this canvas to express myself. But I really liked, it's got kind of a dark, angry feel. And I wanted to um, try and combine figurative work with abstract work. And make it like, I mean, I'm using my kids as reference. I've got reference photos and I am trying to paint them as figures realistically, but kind of having a narrative that you can put your own spin on. So I'm going to try and use photos from them behind and I want to put a few, a couple more figures in and I want it to have to be a piece that you can uh, interpret in your own way. I've got my interpretation, how I see this. Um, but yeah, that's what I've been working on. And I have going over it with this, I put in this fig, um, this is from a reference photo of my son trying to run away from us when we were dragging him around to more art galleries in Washington. Um, I thought, yeah, I don't know if I've discussed this earlier, but this is like, I feel as a real sort of I don't know, dark dystopian vibe. I ended up adding this black area and I was like, it looks like there is a bridge there. 
I don't know what I was sort of thinking with everything going on, like everything sort of seems quite dark, thinking maybe like Dan that sort of Dante's Inferno, sort of a, um, and I was also very influenced by Justin Mortimer, who um, is an artist I like, and his combination of abstract with figurative work. And then, so I started off with this, this is how I feel paintings for me grow in a sort of organic way. Um, it started off with just this figure. I mean, I think in my head I saw adding in two more figures sort of going out across here and having sort of like, the kids always love wearing their, they had a phase where they always had their hoodies up. And I feel like that sort of fits into that kind of, I don't know, when you think of uh, that sort of kids, teenagers. In London, London were like I was there, like also like, they sort of um, stereotypes about like antisocial um, behavior or sort of like more of a, dark urban vibe and then I wanted it was Halloween and we went out trick-or-treating and took some photos and then the, I took this photo of this like skeleton um uh, blow up skeleton like blow up skeleton dog that someone had in their yard and I was like I don't know again a sort of a dark vibe but just to add interest to this I feel like I might even put if I can go get some tiny brushes like a skittles packet because I remember listening to the word on the street so that skittles are like toxic and going to be banned here in uh, California and that whole idea of stuff now not being good for us toxic you know the like just I don't know it's weird because I partly want it you can read what you want into it but obviously I am I've got a lot of thoughts on this um that I'm putting into it which is kind of like my train of thought um and then I was thinking I've also showed on a Instagram stories I made like a um little after sort of Louise Bourgeois like a uh, a lamp where I made a self portrait in a dry clay this is back in covid and um I fancy like if I and then I put the kids teeth in it as well like baby teeth and I wonder if I could put that like here in his line of sight. I don't know. I just want to do something down there. And then do I add more rocks or some sort of more abstract like drips of paint? I don't know. I don't know where this is going. Um, but yeah, this is something that I am spending a bit of time on and I want to refine. Well, just out of interest, if anyone's into it. This is acrylic. I did this to begin with with acrylic and I think I painted this my fell just in acrylic. But then I was using acry acrylic gouache because I've got little tubes there and it was easy to squeeze out a small amount and the cut, like I've got more of a range. So I was using that, but it's really matte and I don't know if I like the matteness on the, I don't know if I'm gonna alter that a bit really. And then I was thinking maybe add some like metallic, I've got some metallic acrylic, could I add that somewhere? But then I thought, is that just, but it's my painting. I can kind of hopefully do what I want. And another thing that's been uh, influencing me, if I come down to the floor where I keep all stuff, is this book, um, Disrupted, Disrupted Realism. I was loving this, like, I think paintings for a distracted world. Um, and so, yeah, what I was I really enjoying about this book is how artists are combining figurative works with um yeah playing around with frigatrift works and um distorting them adding ab abstract elements this is really right up my street because uh, i do do portraits and and i do love trying to you know i do enjoy that but i think if you want it to speak her draw when you're including people to up to like i obviously want a portrait of my family but i'm not sure it would mean much to anybody else Whereas sometimes I think these sort of more figurative pieces sort of can speak on a different level to all of us. Like we can read, read stuff into um, different things into the paintings. But yeah. And then also at the same time, there was this, did I, did I show this? I probably did. This is an abstract that uh, I'm getting a bit stuck on because I like it and I feel, so I think here what I'm gonna do, I keep adding to it. When I have spare bits of paint, I add more touches to it. But I'm gonna like, I feel like that is a sky and there's something about um, it being like an edge. So yeah, I've put a little post-it note because I think I'll, at the moment the title for this is The Edge. 
and that's how I build that out. The title for this one is actually, I was thinking people just do nothing because I love the B there's a BBC comedy series and maybe reflecting on how we all make judgments. Like a lot of people say, oh yeah, they're just doing nothing or we judge ourselves, we're doing. So I just, I just, you know, the state of, I just thought maybe that might be an interesting title, but it's not definite. And that's where I'm at. Do you know what? Going through, watching my video, um, of bits from this week, I realise I've actually done quite a lot. So that, the painting that I showed right at the beginning, so I've actually, this, um, I have been working on this one. So you can see that I've been adding, this is one that I'm adding to a bit sometime each day. Um, it, I don't think it's finished yet. I've been putting it, I put these flowers in, which I quite like. This is sort of a, a nice loose painting. I'm kind of drawing, I think this is quite funny. Okay, I'm gonna share this. This is, I had a pomegranate and I had it here as sort of a reference, but I was sort of trying to draw it from memory so I can make it loose. This is a Japanese little sake cup that we were gifted. Um, yeah, so, but I went and added this black and then this, it reminds me of, I don't know if anyone, maybe it's just in Britain, had the game past the bomb. It looks like a bomb more than a, uh, I mean, it's not really, the whole point is I'm trying to keep it loose so it doesn't need to look like a thing, but it just made me giggle. And then um, this painting, I keep adding and adding covering up. I don't know why, I don't know, what, maybe it's just going to end up a big blob of acrylic, but um, I quite like, I kind of like how it is at the moment. And I then, because I started to paint over it, I then engraved, I carved in, and it, this is where I think the beauty of keeping sketchbooks. This is a shape that I've been putting in my abstract sketchbook. And then I sort of, um, the paint was so thick, I was like, I'll get at the end, the end of a brush and engrave into it. So I actually really like that segment. I just like the textures that are coming. And then, um, oh, then I had a, a funny thing happen. This one, which was an abstract, I think I must have stepped on it. Something happened and basically it's um, a bit's come out. So I will probably stick into a sketchbook, but I'm wondering like, can I s cover over with another bit of material canvas? I don't know what this is maybe, or reuse it as take, use it to stretch my own canvases on. But yeah, that's just, uh, I just suddenly realized when I was watching back, I was, editing the video that actually <laughs> some other things had happened during the week so there we go so yeah this is the end of the video now thank you very much for watching it um i i hope it kind of stitches together but you do see i think some works at the beginning of the week and then how the stages i've got to now um yeah that's it from me and i'll probably be back next time with more of a process a video or a sketchbook tour because trying to make a vlog is actually i think it's more challenging in trying to remember what you've videoed before and what you've said before so yeah i apologize if this is a bit repetitive but this is my go at a vlog okay bye